I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. A new clinical trial through Johns Hopkins University is working on a new solution for COVID-19. It would not only treat early stage patients, but also prevent those exposed to it from catching the disease. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs explains how they are now looking for volunteers. The Johns Hopkins trial is looking to prove that antibodies are effective as a treatment for COVID-19, well before vaccines are released to the public. Let's put water on the matches before they light and start a start a big fire. With the uncertainty of what fall will bring, researchers are working hard to find a solution for COVID-19. To get society to be functional, um, we need to have an outpatient treatment. We need to prevent people from going to the hospital. Dr. David Sullivan is helping lead the first U.S. clinical trial for an outpatient treatment using antibodies to both treat early stage COVID-19 and prevent people exposed to the virus from catching it and ending up in the hospital. So there are people that are recovered, people who have successfully fought off the virus and controlled it, taking those same antibodies and giving it to people who might be at high risk of going to the hospital. Antibodies were employed in the last great pandemic of 1918 and have been successfully used in over 70,000 patients who have already been given plasma in the U.S. Johns Hopkins University is enrolling for the trial now. To qualify, you have to have been exposed or newly diagnosed with COVID-19. If anything, there was some chance that it could have been beneficial not only for us, but also for others who are potentially exposed to the virus. Jonathan Orens and his wife were some of the first participants, qualifying because they were exposed to COVID by their daughter, who tested positive and was asymptomatic. As part of the trial, they got one transfusion in July. Uh, we, we had uh, no side effects from the therapy. Uh, we felt well during the treatment. We felt well after the treatment. Researchers are hoping to enroll another 100 people in the D.C. Baltimore area to get the treatment tested and available by December. Orens was more than happy to sign up and hopes others join him in being part of a possible solution. I think with how bad this uh, pandemic has been, we all have an obligation to contribute in some way to help our fellow, uh, you know, our fellow citizens. The study is voluntary and participants will be compensated. We have information about how to enroll on our website, WMAR2news.com. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. Thank you, Abby. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather, while you're out there on the go, you can download the WMAR2 app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.